Hi dear students. Welcome to the virtual learning. Today we are going to continue the second lesson energy from the sun. We'll recap what you have gone through or also as I begin the lesson one second I would like to start from the beginning. We know energy from the sun is also called simply the solar energy. But let us not just confine ourselves with one word the solar but then let us deeply look at look into this lesson. The earth on which we live is full of diversity. We saw in the previous classes about some aspects of this diversity like oceans and continents, mountains, plateaus and plains on the continents and regions of high and scanty rainfall. In this lesson, we will study about another important form of diversity which we cannot see but only feel. So dear students, in the last lesson, we heard and we saw that the earth is full of diversity. Yes, on this earth we can find oceans and continents, mountains, plateaus and plains and also regions of high and scanty rainfall. Scanty means very less rainfall. And in this lesson we will find and we will study the another important form of diversity which we cannot see yeah scanty rainfall less rain we can see or high rainfall or is the more rain we can see uh, mountains we can see plains we can see plateaus we can see but then can we see the temperature? Yes. The another form of diversity is found in temperature. You would have noticed that while it is cool in the morning, it gets warmer during the day and gets cooler again in the night. Similarly, you may have noted that it is very hot in some months of the year and less hot in other another months. This is this is variation of temperature in one place. Temperature also varies from place to place on the earth. Some regions are warmer while some while some regions are so cold as they are covered by ice throughout the year. You read about the equatorial regions while where it is warm throughout the year and later on you will read about polar regions which are very cold. So, in this lesson we are going to mainly focus on the variation in temperature. Yes, this diversity we cannot see but we can feel. In one place it may be very hot but in another place it will be very cool. And this, on the in the same day, it may be hot, cool in the morning and hot in the afternoon and again cool in the night. So, this temperature difference between place also causes winds and rains. So, the temperature difference between places will also cause rains and winds. The amount of rain received at a place is to some, some, to some extent determined by temperature differences between places temperature and rainfall affect life in very critical ways plants and animals depend upon heat and water only certain kinds of trees and plants will grow in a hot regions and 
some other kinds will grow in cold regions nothing grows in very cold regions thus we have variation in vegetation and animal life in this chapter we will study about variation temperature in different parts of the world so dear students we find that because of the temperature there will be variation various types of rains in different places and there is a variation in wind that we get in different places and also 